Hi everyone. Um, right, what I'm going to show you now is last night when I was sat with Chris, we were talking, as we do, and I decided to make some of my uh, flowers from the doilies. And <laughs> they're, you know, they're turning out really, really pretty. I don't know whether I'm going to put any um, laces on them or, or not, but I'm just going to show you what I've done. This is the lace that I have, and I made that into a flower, and then I had one of these doilies. And on the doily itself are little tiny flowers, so you can put beads on them. And then I added to that another doily, a small one, and then a piece of the lace with a flower. So that's that one, and I just thought I'll show you them because they are stunning. Um, this one, again, Mixing lace and doilies together, using the doily, uh, the lace with a square doily, a round doily, that's a, like the Catherine wheel, and then a piece of, um, <sighs> what do they call um, um, Oh, what do they call them? <laughs> <laughs> Applique, couldn't think of it, sorry. Uh, so that's that. And this one, I just love this. What I used on the birdhouse, you know, the birdcage. So I made it into a flower. And then I, on that, I've also included some of the lace. Then a doily, beautiful doily. Another doily and another applique. So that's that one. And then um, this one. Um, I'd cut the doily out of the middle of the doily and used that for a different project. And then this is another, like, gathered it up, the centre of it. And then on top of that, the doily. And I'm not trimming this off because I just, I love them. I think they just look so natural. And then on that, I did, see, a nice gathered doily. And then a plain doily there, flat one. And then a doily underneath with a large wild orchid craft flower. And I just love them. Uh, and I wanted to share that with you. Now, um... What I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to pop these back in the bags. Uh, I'm going to be putting them up on my Etsy for sale. You know, I mean, I do spend the time and I do them very, very careful. Um, this is just stunning. This is so soft material with flowers on. It's, it's just stunning. Um, so I'm going to be putting them up on my Etsy. And I've just put a load of things up from the car boots. Because you know, if I don't want them, I come back and I share them. Um, and I've gone down to the lowest price possible. I mean, obviously I have to uh, cover the Etsy fee. Um, and the um, PayPal fee. Um, and, and basically that's it. That's all I'm doing. And I've brought them to, to you a really cheap price. Um, so I love that one. It's just stunning. Stunning. <laughs> Um, it's just because a lot of you don't get to car boots. A lot of you don't know, you don't get what we get, or we don't get what you get, obviously. Uh, and so, if I can, if I've got the funds and I can get the stuff, then I will get them so that they can be shared. Um, and it, and it's like an online car boot. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and I don't charge the earth at all. I just charge enough to cover my cost, what I paid, and the fees it's going to cost me to process that through my Etsy. Um, and then, like I say, um, I'm going to... There's this one, which I'm going to make into a book. So that's that one, um, which I'm going to keep. And then I will be doing these today. I want to get those sorted. The thing I'm going to do now is to cut this. Hmm. You're going, don't, Fiona, don't. Well, of course I'm going to cut it. I need to use it. I'm not going to have it like that. I won't wear it. God, Raymond saw me in this, he'd divorce me. <laughs> if I saw myself in it, I'd divorce me. So what I'm going to do now is just... Um, Take this apart, basically. Let's have a look. See how we're going to have to do it. Okie dokie. Ain't bothered. Go for it. And it's just... So I don't want any of that. And that's just a flower that's uh, half off anyway. 
and it's just taking the whole thing apart so that the material can actually be used. Now I went into a furniture shop oh, a while back and I went to look at cushion covers because as you know you can get cushion covers like that and they wanted for one 12 by 12 cushion cover and the material was only on one side and they wanted £24.99 for it. £24.99. I nearly died. And I thought stuff that for a lark and get them elsewhere. So you can see how much you're being ripped off. <laughs> Sorry, I always go back to that because I know how much people are paying for this material. Um, and I just refuse, point blank, to uh, buy it in the shops when I know you can pick things up like this on the car boots. Um, yeah, but £24. Well, 25 less a penny, that's all it was. And it was just horrendous. I'm thinking, you rip-off merchants. Sorry, but I'm like that. Yeah, everybody has to make a living, but don't kill people. You know what I mean? I'm not bothered about that half. It'll go on something, a butterfly. I was thinking about doing it. In fact, I might do that while I'm online now, is do a butterfly with this. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, I've got to cut myself a butterfly. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, never mind. We'll just cut one then. Let me just get this off. There we go. It's going down the seam, that was all. And we don't want that. So let's just take that apart, get rid of that bit, there we go, I mean even that material would make a flower but you know I probably will use it. Um, and then all I'm going to do is take this apart so that I can actually pull material out and use it. Like I say, I'm not bothered if it cuts a flower in half because we can do that on a butterfly. Like that. Let's just have a look at this side. And I, it used to bother me a lot about cutting things up. But to be quite honest, nah, not no more. Um, and like I say, if you want to run along and have a look at the uh, book that's up for auction... Please do, you know, um, I know Beta, she's the uh, highest bidder up to now. And um, I thank you so much because uh, June was the highest bidder last night. Um, and then when I got up this morning, Beta um, put in her bid. So look, lots and lots of this gorgeous, gorgeous material. Isn't that stunning? Now that's going to make a fantastic book cover. So I need to make sure I save two panels. So I'll save the front and the back. <coughs> Let me get my big scissors. <coughs> Okie dokie. There we go. Yeah. I'm straight up there. That's it. That's what we need to do. Cut it out, woman. And that gives me a perfectly good panel to do the book. Do you know what? I even like things that way. Look at that. How different is that? And wouldn't that look good on a book? I might even do mine that way. I don't know yet. But I do like how nice that feels. So, yeah. That'll, uh, in fact, I might only need that piece for my book. <laughs> so that's that bit. I'll take this one off. My daughter's just rang and invited us down. She's having a barbecue and we've just eaten. <laughs> but I said we'll go down later. So I'm not going to be on for a while. Um, it's just... 
great. Look at it. Just turn that over and cut this bit out. I want to do it that way, it's a bit quicker. If my daughter saw this, she'd have had it, uh, uh, nabbed it off me. I'm glad I've cut it up before she saw it. So I wouldn't get a chance to do anything with it. There's another panel. I just love that. I think that's great, that side. Look at that. Isn't that fab? Which is a nice pattern. So that's another piece. <coughs> and like you say, we've got the double panel at the front. So that will also make some nice things. And I think... I think what I'm going to do... Why have I done that, silly old? Come on. Beautiful. I think what I'm going to do is... just going to get my butterfly wherever I put my... that one. Uh, and have to redo that. So let me just... get my card. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll use. I'll use the... Um, oh, what was the card I got? Pack card. Has I got a pack of that? Yeah. Go on, we'll use a craft card and cut a, a butterfly out. And we'll do that. My template. This is the butterfly I do when I'm using the mixed medium and do the background and whoops, and we do a vintage butterfly that way. And I do have books out. Um, if you go to madcloud.com, uh, type in Jenny 644 you will also see two magazines. You can go through the link on my uh, page on YouTube, the home page. I have a link there that takes you to the books. I have one on the tutorials to make it easy for you to follow. And I will be doing more of them. It just takes time. And my computer crashed in February um, when I came back from, Hol uh, from um, Norway. Uh, unfortunately, I've not... I've got the program now and I can go back and redo the book because I was on my third book when um, it crashed and I need to spend time getting it done and now I've cut my hours down I can get on and get that done but there's two books for sale you can do it digital or you can have the printed books I have to say the printed books are fantastic so if you go onto my home page of my YouTube channel to the right hand side there's two links there for the uh, MagCloud and you will find one book which has 40, I don't know, it's 44, 47 templates, including this butterfly uh, that I've done. And the other book is to enable you to go, the, you get a picture at the top and all the information at the bottom of what you need. Um, and then you can type in the um, address and it'll take you straight to that tutorial. And that's, you know, it was a, a great tool for finding your way around my... Um, tutorials because these, there are over um, like 2,000 2,200 is it? Something like that um, so that's why we're starting the books you can look at it and say oh I want to do that today and then go and get the materials it lists it and the uh, type in the link and it'll take you straight to that uh, tutorial so yeah go and have a look, it's not expensive books at all, I've kept all the prices right down but that's uh, madcloud.com and the links to the books where you can view them um, is on my homepage of YouTube. So if you go and have a look, it'll take you straight through. They're like the red links on the front. So there we go, we've got that. And put that away. That's my uh, template. And I think what I'm going to do is take one of these. Let's have a look. I just, it's absolutely gorgeous, look. Let me just make sure, because I'm not that fussed about having it. Oh, am I? I <laughs> don't know. There's one, right there. Yeah, I just like that, so I'm just going to glue it on. Like that. Well, you see, I would glue it on if I'd have had my glue gun plugged in, you ninny. 
E lassie. Sometimes have a cup of coffee. <laughs> now here's a project where I went, I, I changed my mind, I didn't like it. Look, I used that model paste, modelling paste. Uh, sliced it with a knife, you know, with the palette knife. And then used the Cosmic Shimmers to paint it. And I loved the box itself. But then, to me, I spoilt it by putting these bits on. Um, uh, and they, I need a different fastener for it. I don't like the fastener that it's it's on. And it's painted inside as well. And I sat and did that one last night. Uh, although I love the book, I just... In fact, I'm going to cut that off because it's driving me insane. I like that. I don't like that. I haven't finished with the handle. That needs sorting out. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I thought I spoilt it. What do you think? I don't know. hope you can see that. I need to do the handle. But I love the texture. Nice textured finish. And you could do that on anything. So, we'll sort it out. Uh, but like I say, right now, I'm just going to glue this when that uh, decides to heat up. Oh, we'll have to do something before then, won't we? What can we do while we're waiting? Pop that to one side. Cut that out of the way. Um, and let's have a look at this. Oh, sorry if you can see all that. I need to, I need to get that out. Let me see if I can get that out. Um, oh, where's my pliers? Yeah, I don't actually... I'm going to make this into like a shadow box, I think. Where's Hubby when you need him? See, he won't come in when I don't want him. But you, you have to watch the video I've just put up of the car boot this morning. He made me laugh. Because as soon as I started filming, he chirps up. <laughs> I've got wrong tools for this because my pliers are absolute rubbish. I don't want the glass in it. Ray! Oops, it is it. My tools are falling apart. I... See, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, so what have you done that for? They are, they're absolute rubbish, my tools. There we go. Oh, never mind, we can fix that. Here, we'll glue that back in with wood glue. Oops, it is. I don't want to smash the mirror, but let me just see if I can get it with these. Yeah. Look, the battered. Look at them. They're that old. The thing is, I won't throw anything out. I use it till it's on its last legs. So now what I'll have to do is glue that in. I don't want to, yeah. See when it glues in, you won't tell. <coughs> yeah, I can make that a shadow box actually. So let's have a look. Let's get some uh, wood. Oh, this this glue will do. I'm sure it will. Right, I'm just filming. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm just filming. I'm just going to finish. Where have I put the wood? Where's the wood bit that's coming out? Here. <laughs> Don't go missing. I've nearly done. <laughs> oh, dear. Bless him. See, you can't even tell that's not this thingy. A bit of glue that's left in there. That's it. Put a panel on that, and that'll be a little frame. Well, at least we got that done. Let's put those away. Right, um, that's it. Um, I shall. Is it heated up? I think it's heated up. Let me have a look. That's what I want to do with it. Oh, 
Oh, my glue gun's useless. Yeah, like that, just like that. Not fussed, look, just gone straight on. And all I've got to do now is... Because that you see, of course, my glue guns run out <laughs> like that. I'm just going to cut around it. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? All you've got to do is tidy up those ends and that's just fabulous. Like that. <clears throat> and we've got ourselves. And the only bit I don't like is that bit there. So I'm just wondering if I can snip a little one off here, which I think I can, and just pop that in because I don't like that bit. Put a glue stick in. Um, just glue that in there like that just so it's a little bit more even that's fine like that oops there we go and that's fine quite happy with that and there you go i've got myself a shabby sheet butterfly and all i have to do now is uh sort it out which i'm going to do now Let's have a look. I think we'll have a couple of those. Oh, I'll have. Shall I have one of those? No, I don't want pink. Oh, maybe one of those and two of those. <coughs> oh, it's going to look fab. And I will put some uh, dangly bits on there like that and just by cutting a little bit of material look what we've got I'm going to squeeze that in there and I think that was look a lot better so look out for um, you know things like cushion covers and, and bits like that at your car boots and whatever or even dresses, dresses like this. Isn't that gorgeous? All I've got to do now is make some antennae, which we make our own, as you know. Don't buy things like that. When we can make them. Just roughly do that. Not bad, I guess. Like that. Take the pliers. Like that. If I 
tighten them up a little bit. Turn that back to front. <clears throat> put a fair amount on because you want to, you put it on, twist it, which seals it. Just let that dry. And let me just have a look, see what I can use. I've got some pearl beads, which we can use. And I do have a little bit of uh, some nice. Oh, oh, I've got another one, different one. That'll do much better. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we'll have two of those. which I'm just going to pop on. Like that. Just leave that a minute. There's a couple of bits like this. I think I have it really shabby chic. <coughs> Oops, it is it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, put these together. Like that, and that one. And pop a little bit of glue over there and that on there and that will hold that look at that isn't that stunning Hope you can see that from a little bit of material um, off a skirt, and you've got that. Love it. Let me move that over a little bit, I think. Take that one off and just move it over slightly. Like that. A lot better. Like that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I hope you like that. And uh, I'm going to put it on my Etsy. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.